हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग कैसे हैं आप लोग होप्स यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट दिस इज देव साहू आई एम द डायरेक्टर ऑफ द स्पोकन इंग्लिश क्लासेस आई एम इंग्लिश गुरु पब्लिक स्पीकर एंड ऑथर दोस्तों टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अ ग्रुप डिस्कशन वेयर दैट सिक्स बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स दे आर गोइंग टू पार्टिसिपेट एंड द टॉपिक इज दैट इंडियन एजुकेशन सिस्टम इज गुड और बैड थ्री बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स दे आर सेइंग दैट यस इंडियन एजुकेशन सिस्टम इज गुड एंड रेस्ट ऑफ द बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स दे आर अगेंस्ट मींस दैट दे आर नॉट सपोर्टिंग इंडियन एजुकेशन सिस्टम इज गुड सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग द टाइम लेट्स स्टार्ट द ग्रुप डिस्कशन बट आई वुड लाइक टू मेंशन वन थिंग दीस बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स दे आर रुकी दे आर न्यू fight uh, they have started the classes recently so they may commit some mistakes so it's my humble request you have to ignore their mistakes so let's start the group discussion indian education system is good or bad respected sir and all my dear friends today we have the topic for a group discussion and our topic is that uh, at present india's education system is creditable or not there is no objection so i want to intercede that nowadays india's education system is very benign because the teacher of our country are well educated experienced they have plethora power of ex uh, they have plethora power of convince the passion uh, of of convince the passion and they have magnificent teaching teaching style and they are also congress to understand the mentality of uh, dis uh, disciple now the education system has gone so far and it is uh, more costly uh, uh, people who are penurious uh, cannot afford the education system right now and uh, those who are opulent can only afford the education system and now education system has turned into more of a business if you see there are many uh, government schemes but they are not properly implemented in government schools also if you will go and watch the government schools they uh, they don't have proper uh, blackboard uh, no benches and nothing uh, they get the uh, they get the uh, funding from the government but they don't use effectively as they should be in my opinion our uh, indian education system is very good nowadays uh, because uh, the children's gusto is very uh, exciting because government provides them uh, good facilities physical facilities their growth and their, uh, they developed by their physical by um, providing them sports and uh, education system is very uh, nice because uh, nowadays uh, there are no illiterate teachers because um, uh, teachers are also ve uh, well educated nowadays if you want to take admission in uh, medical college so you should have to uh, pay 10 10 lakhs and uh, you will have to pay 10 and 20 lakhs and if you are not able to pay uh, uh, large amount of this fees you can't able to take admission in government college why a middle class people can't afford it i would like to add further that uh, in india only 11% of children are going to school and other in other country as compared to other countries so this can uh, this can also be a reason that india's education system right now is not that good as it should have been uh, i want to mention you about uh, edu uh, right to education right of children to free and compulsory edu uh, education act is the right to education act and this is a campaign uh, of parliament of india enacted on 4th august 2019 which the uh, 2019 in which describe the modalities of the importance of uh, free and compulsory education for the children between the age of 6 to 14 in india and under uh, sorry and uh, under article 21a in the indian constitution and india become one uh, 40 uh, india become one of 131 uh, countries to make uh, education fundamental right and i would like to tell you about meet day meal government has started meet day meal campaign for all government school uh, for all government uh, school because uh, many children don't eat their breakfast properly when they come at the school that's why when they come at the school that's why they don't concentrate in their study properly so government provide them meals that uh, as well as they can uh, germinate energy to do everything and they can uh, concentrate in their study also so that is very uh, that is also very proper way to uh, make uh, education system better and uh, child health also well friend the education system has to be changed so that student can learn a knowledgeable education not for only uh, uh, theory uh, but also for their uh, uh, practical implementations and uh, there are so many school and colleges uh, in india but uh, only few are there uh, that uh, have good real uh, real knowledge 
as my just as my friend just mentioned that there are uh, mid day meals provided in the school but if you see in the recent news there was there were many children who who were hospitalized due to the mid day meals and there was a havoc created in the society so we cannot actually say that the government is providing proper mid day uh, mid day meals as they should be our indian government provides us free education for pe poor people so they don't have money and our schools the private schools and government schools they are well uh, developed and their teachers are well experienced they teach very nicely and suppose if there is a one sick children uh, child so they don't um, they don't uh, how to say um, school nahi jayega matlab nahi ja pata hai he is not able to go to school for there there is home tutors come and they teach I want to say that uh, nowadays India's education system is very terrors, but uh, it need lit, uh, but it need a little bit uh, metamorphosis. We can, sh uh, sorry, we should improve all the, uh, our education system by adding some, uh, by adding more uh, project based or practical based education will be education will help student to reclaim their experience, knowledge, and uh, experience knowledge. Not uh, by this, not only they uh, they learn. subject easily but they will learn also uh, but they will learn also how to use their knowledge in their daily life and uh, before generation who subject who syllabus who course uh, children were uh, read in 9 10th class nowadays all these things children are uh, reading in 5th 6th class and apart from study they are uh, learning also st uh, singing dance uh, kar judo karate for self defense and uh, yoga for fitness so yoga for fitness uh, computer knowledge they are all uh, they also uh, reading in multi languages everything by education system after say uh, after saw the result lot of, a lot of children committed to suicide and lot of children uh, gone depressed gone depressed and it uh, it damages their brains uh, as as my friend just said that <coughs> the, there is a lot uh, the syllabus is actually uh, been propagated to the students and the students only read th that syllabus and after after the exams are over they don't know what they have read so it is not useful they, there should be uh, there are many tough theorems and etc so they should actually get practical classes also there uh, where they should uh, there get where they get to know that they can uh, when and when they they can apply these theorems and if it is and if it is not the case then it is not useful i mean the education is not so useful uh, our indian government uh, try to start uh, try to start uh, new projects and foreign institutions are also allowed to uh, to establish a new new invention So new inven inventions and uh, technologies in uh, nowadays in every government schools or, and colleges also there is a technology technological studies are also done uh, the uh, in today's generation the education system is actually hampering the thinking skills of a child if you will see he is not actually going out of the syllabus he is remaining in the syllabus and due to which the uh, out of the think box we call it uh, an an extraordinary thinking than an ordinary child is missing children are uh, very busy in mobile they misuse um, they misuse mobile phones so how it is beneficial for children how could you say that suppose uh, suppose uh, a children uh, suppose a children learn uh, theorems and formulas but they doesn't uh, implement it so how it is useful for them it is uh, totally waste uh, waste yeah wasted of money and time yes yeah. if you will see that many entrepreneur uh, and and three preneurs are actually drop out of the school and they are not studying much uh, uh, there are many example for uh, for example mark zuckerberg who has started facebook and now uh, and now he is leading he is leading one of the uh, he is leading in the country right now and there are many more like uh, ford and uh, and many more who who have an extraordinary thinking which uh, our indi our indian education system does not provide us nowadays many uh, ancient and new to uh, it's a purana history ancient. ancient nowadays many ancient and new to uh, technology has been uh, developed in india and uh, uh, many inst uh, many uh, universities co and colleges provide uh, provide it, uh, provide course about uh, new technology robot new technology robotics programming and uh, uh, artificial technology uh, artificial technology programming in india i want to give a uh, example of anand kumar he is the 
poor and uh, he wanted uh, his chawls and he, he lives in a slum area uh, but he wanted to encourage uh, their their children's uh, their neighbors children's that uh, he did hard work and uh, give so many efforts that uh, their children's uh, uh, i think there is 30 30 students out of 26 uh, cleared the iit the main exam that uh, in india they invest a lot of money for that and his efforts and their students efforts are very hard work uh, they did hard work that is why 26 students cleared the iit the main exam i would like i would like to add uh, that iit is a main exam right but there are many more like uh, who become doctor they write to uh, they write neat so if uh, if you know there were many scams related to this Uh, mainly in madhya pradesh there was vyapam scam in which there were uh, many politicians who were indulged in this scam and many uh, man, many were arrested so we cannot actually say that everyone uh, means iit is not only the a key uh, key to succeed there are many more like doctors also they were actually so much in pain they invested so much money and they got duped so the uh, and then they they uh, they got depressed as they were duped and they and there were many poor people in in that uh, some were okay but there were some pe- poor people who actually get depressed my friend as you said in every field in india also there is so uh, there is students who gone, gone who ahead. gone ahead in every field as you said uh, in iit is the main exam and uh, doctorate in every field in india also uh, they are developed nowadays most of children go to uh, tuitions it is failure of your education system so what is bad in this children go to uh, tuitions for study they waste their money they don't waste their money suppose one children want to run they are not work they are not studying yeah so Probably. what they do they are going tuitions and make gf and bfs <laughs> <laughs> all students not, not all some students and most of children uh, are uh, ask their parents uh, uh, we are going to tuitions and and they are uh, they are going to garden that's the not we have that came here to make a relationship with other person that is not the fault of their parents what is the problem if you are saying no, no. that education system is so good then why there are tuitions there are only uh, schools so they are they are enough for the education there is no need of tuitions that, that is not uh, that is not the fault of their parents and uh, education system that is the fault of the students individual students itself is friends education system is focusing on uh, scoring rather than their knowledge and uh, this is the loss for uh, their students because they are only learning from bookish language not the uh, not the practical implementation